We are continuing to follow that breaking news. Stan Bowman, the Blackhawks president of hockey operations and one of the key architects of the Stanley Cup winning dynasty has resigned. Today's announcement comes in the aftermath of an investigation into allegations that a former assistant sexually assaulted a player in 2010 and top Blackhawks executives covered it up. WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now with the very latest. Mike. Ray and Micah, good evening. This investigation centers on the allegations of a 20 year old hockey player who alleged that former Hawks video coach Bradley Aldrich sexually assaulted him and then threatened his career. The report paints a picture of an organization that prized winning above all else, even serious allegations of sexual abuse. Chicago Blackhawks team president Danny Wirtz and his father, team owner Rocky Wirtz, took no questions as they announced the findings of an investigation into how the team handled sexual abuse allegations a decade ago, announcing the resignation of the team's president of hockey operations, Stan Bowman. I also want to share that Stan Bowman has stepped aside. Rocky and I appreciate Stan's dedication to the Blackhawks and his many years of work for the team. However, we and he ultimately accept that in his first year as general manager, he made a mistake alongside our other senior executives at the time and did not take adequate action in 2010. The team enlisted former federal prosecutor Reed Shar, now a partner with the law firm Jenner and Block, to conduct an outside investigation into the allegations that then Blackhawks video coach Bradley Aldrich sexually assaulted a minor league prospect back in 2010. The 68-page report details how the independent investigation interviewed 139 witnesses about what the team called the disturbing allegations. To be clear, neither myself nor Danny knew anything about these allegations until we received word that a lawsuit was being filed. If we had, we certainly would not be standing here today. In May of 2021, the alleged victim, referred to as John Doe, filed a lawsuit in state court against the Blackhawks. John Doe has further alleged that the Blackhawks were made aware of the alleged sexual assault by Aldridge soon after it occurred and failed to act to address the assault. That Aldridge was pressuring John Doe to have sex with him. The report notes that Aldridge told John Doe that he, quote, had the power to get John Doe onto the Blackhawks roster, turned on pornography, and forcibly performed oral sex on John Doe. Soon after, five members of senior management met to discuss what had been learned about the Aldrich and John Doe situation. Then Blackhawks president John McDonough and then head coach Joel Quinville made comments about the challenge of getting to the Stanley Cup finals and a desire to focus on the team and the playoffs. The report states, our investigation uncovered no evidence, however, that McDonough or anyone else either contacted human resources or initiated an investigation between May 23rd and June 14th. McDonough said it was decided that the group would not alert human resources or do anything about the incident during the playoffs so as not to disturb team chemistry. The team went on to win the first of three Stanley Cup titles that year, and Aldrich was given a championship ring. The lawyer for John Doe praised the independence of the investigation, but said the Hawks are still trying to have the case dismissed. All they can do right now is to try to rectify. They've mentioned things they've done to change the workings of the organization. I want to see what they're going to do to live up to their apology to John Doe. And John Doe is now playing hockey in Europe, and his attorney says he remains traumatized by the alleged incident. The report has been shared with the NHL, and the league has fined the team $2 million for what it called, quote, the organization's inadequate internal procedures and insufficient untimely response. But the Hawks do say that no members of the executive team at that time will ever work for the club again. Back to you. All right, Mike, thanks so much.